Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel where I put my stunt videos and my graphic videos done with 3ds Max, After Effects, Buju and many others. Today I'm going to teach you how to make an hologram like this one. Alright, I decided to make a really simple hologram. Why simple? Because we don't see any movement in the video except the hologram and we don't see the hologram appear or disappear. I wanted to focus really on the creation of the hologram and not on the tracking or the hologram appear or disappear. Ok, let's go. To create this video we need three things. The background, of course. Here the character or the object which is going to be the hologram and this video. Wow, now you may wonder what's that? But don't worry, we're going to explain this in time. So I said we need three things and we have four things here. Uh, why? Because we have two cases. The first case, which is mine, I created a 3D object, a 3D character, in 3ds Max, and uh, I decided to use it as the hologram. But some people are going to to shoot a character or a real object in front of a green screen, and I'm going to tell you now what to do with the green screen. So, if you decided to use a green screen when you make the shot, uh, this is how you're going to act. You take this, the phone, as the background, you put it here, and this creates here a composition. We are going to rename the composition main, because this is our background where we're going to put the hologram. Okay, now we take our Lumi Green here our character with the green screen and we go here in the effects and we type key we take this effect key light we put it here we click here and choose the green tada it is done it's really fast after that some videos some shooting might need some um, adjustment so you have here screen gain screen balance you can play with this okay so now let's go back to our project without the green screen so goodbye lumi green and now we have our three things so we do the same take the background we we'll rename it main and we take our character here, Lumi, and we put it here. That creates here a composition. And now we're going to give an hologram look to our character. So I go here in the effects, I make saturation, use saturation, I put it here, and I go here and I make less 100 ok now I go here effects curves I put the curves here and I choose to make it a little darker and I want it to be blue so I choose blue I go on red, I put it down, I go on green, I put it a little up. Ok, I go here, I click on my Lumi, I do Ctrl D to duplicate, I want to duplicate this layer, and I go here in my project and I choose this famous hologram static oh, sorry hologram static I put it here on the top 
I go here on the middle middle one and I go on Luma Mate Hologram Static Move. Alright. I go here, I choose screen and that's okay. We have our hologram look. It's not perfect, but we're going to change it after. Now I go back to my main composition here. I take the Lumi composition, I put it here. I want it to go out of the screen of my phone. I place it here. Okay. Now I'm going to choose here in the mod the lighten. You can choose whatever you want, it depends on the light of your scene, of your hologram. You can make sometimes head or screen. But for the moment, for my scene, I choose lighten. And I had a glow on my Lumi hologram. Okay. I change here the parameters. I try to change the radius. I'm going to increase the glow intensity to find a good ratio. Yeah. It's quite good. Alright, I have my glow and I had now a layer new adjustment layer. I name it Flare. Okay. I go here in my effects, I make flares and I choose this plugin, optical flares that I downloaded. I put it on the adjustment layer flare. I have my flare but I have to put here screen. Alright, I place it on my phone. I go here on options. And I choose some flares effect. I'm going to go in this folder. I choose the tech light. And I'm going to select and deselect some effects. I don't want the iris, the spike ball, the spike ball here, sparkle. Uh, I keep it. The ring, the ring, the ring, the ring. I don't want rings. Maybe you want to keep them, but uh, I'm not going to keep. <laughs> ring, ring, multi iris, uh, multi iris, multi iris, glow, glow, hoop, and I keep the rest. Okay, now I have my glow. I can make it brighter. I can change the scale. And that seems to be good. I create now another layer, new adjustment layer. I call it a cone. Okay. And I use the same effect, optical flares. I put it here. I do the same. Screen. And options. I go on light. And I choose main light here. And I click on solo. Okay, now 
I put the bottom of my cone here and I choose the direction like this okay uh, I go here on this logo the color and I choose a color like my Lumi yeah the brightness down a little bit okay I go on the paint tool and I want to erase that part here because I want the light to go out from the screen and not from here I make a zoom I make a mask ok I dislike the toggle mask I go here on mask and I choose subtract ok and I'm going to change the mask feather a little Okay, that seems to be pretty good. Uh, Alright, now I'm going to select another layer, but not adjustment layer, a solid. And I'm going to call it uh, screen. Alright, I choose it white here. Okay, I click on the eye here. I put my pen tool, I make a zoom and I take the screen here I dislike the toggle mask I go here on the mask options and I change the mask feather. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not bad. Could be better, but I have a parameter to head. I close here. I go back on my cone. I type T like transformation. I go here on opacity. I touch nothing. I type Halt and I click here. That opens that. It's an expression we can add. And I'm going to make we we girl ten comma 30 okay we're not going to see the change for the moment here but this permits the cone to flash and to give an impression of a hologram <laughs> okay I think we are done I'm going to make here a preview and we're going to see the result Okay, it is loaded. Now, let's see it. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I hope this tutorial helped you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, sorry for my English. <laughs> and uh, I hope to see you again for another tutorial or another stunt. <laughs> okay, see you later. Bye.